The following video presentation, which includes live action video, still photography, animation and expert comments, is offered to give you a visual aid in your consideration and analysis of Rosemont Copper's mine plan of operation. Hi, I'm Gil Clausen, the President and Chief Executive Officer of Rosemont Copper Company. And on behalf of Rosemont, we are very pleased to be able to present the visual representation of the Rosemont Reclamation and Closure Plan. Reclamation will not be deferred to the end of the project. Reclamation will begin within the first year of mine production and will feature state-of-the-art practices. They include greenhouse studies for optimum revegetation, cattle use to prepare the seedbed for replanting, and construction of a perimeter buttress to stabilize soil and shield visual impact from State Highway 83. Concurrent reclamation is planned for the outer shell or buttress encompassing the waste rock and tailings area. Growth media salvaged from the facility footprint may also be placed on the outer shell to facilitate revegetation. Only a small portion of the final pit configuration will be visible from the highway. Closure and reclamation requirements will be guided by the protection of surface and groundwater resources. Significant planning has gone into the facility design in order to minimize the footprint of the mine. Construction and function of the outer buttress. Rosemont will construct the outer buttress in advance of the tailings deposition along portions of the southern and eastern footprint. At Rosemont, what they're going to be doing differently with their tailing is that they're going to dewater the tailing. So mm -hmm. they're going to pull all that water out, get it to just almost to a sand type material. Okay? So they're not going to be piling and making this large pond because they don't have the real estate available to do that. So that dry material gets placed on the inside of this waste rock buttress. Air quality will be managed by methods such as water sprays or dust suppressants to minimize the potential for dust generation. Behind this thick, durable rock buttress, tailings will be mechanically filtered and stacked dry at 10 to 15 percent moisture. The formation and migration of seepage from this tailings disposal system is negligible. The outer buttress will help to eliminate the migration of stormwater runoff. The spent heap leach pile will be covered with a layer of durable waste rock eliminating the possibility of flux through the pile. The final reclaimed surfaces will be constructed to achieve a stable landform and the contours will reflect the natural topography of the area surrounding the site. Conservation of the quantity and protection of the quality of the water resources leaving the project site is of high importance. In nature, everything is ridges and valleys. It forms small sub-watersheds. As water falls on the ridge, it moves across the ridge towards a valley. It moves as a sheet flow. It gets to a low point which we can call a valley, and in, in, in the valley the water concentrates and then moves down slope. At Rosemont, in our valley areas, we're going to be lining the valley with larger rock to prevent erosion because we don't want to have erosion on the outslopes. Shaping the facility. We're trying to create this landform such that it blends in with the surrounding topography. Our expertise is reclamation of the waste piles. So at, at Rosemont, what we're doing there is we're taking the material out of a pit, we're placing it into a landform, we're contouring it, so as they're mining, they're taking this waste, they're placing it there, they're making a gentler slope, and we're taking um, topsoil, placing it back on top, and we're revegetating re the surfaces. And we're doing that concurrently. So every year, as they mine, they're reclaiming as they mine. So it's something different. Salvaging vegetation and soil resources. The existing desert shrubs and foliage, wherever possible, will be left intact to decrease runoff and sediment loads. Where practicable, facilities will be constructed to avoid sensitive vegetation areas. 
Salvage and transplant may be considered if avoidance is not possible. Where practicable, soil resources will be placed directly on the outer slopes and will be used for the reclamation of the plant's site at closure. Cattle for Soil Development The Rosemont property is part of an existing ranching facility with over 30,000 acres of grazing land and leases. The use of cattle in soil development has been proven to be very successful and Rosemont plans to use its cattle herd to facilitate this process. The post mining use for a portion of this facility will include ongoing ranching. Much of the outer surface of the Rosemont Ridge landform will be suitable for grazing once vegetation is established. Revegetating Reclaimed Surfaces Rosemont has commissioned the University of Arizona School of Natural Resources to perform greenhouse plant testing. This study will assist to facilitate successful revegetation by investigating appropriate seed mixtures and soil types. 29 species were chosen for the greenhouse evaluation. The selected species are native and represent the highest condition native plant communities. This array of plants maximizes the ability to select a successful mix at the end of greenhouse testing and will allow the final seed mix to have the components of a resilient and productive system. The species chosen for inclusion are currently available from large-scale commercial seed vendors and meet the NRCS's ecological site description. Rosemont Copper knows it will need to demonstrate these commitments to environmental protection to earn the public trust. We hope that this visual presentation will assist you in your evaluation of our plan. Thank you very much for your time. For further details, visit our website at rosemontcopper.com.